oh in for eight grand, the chase is on. Good luck, he comes first question. Which of these pairs of players contested three consecutive Wimbledon men's singles finals? A, Becker and Edberg, B, Borg and Connors, C, Cash and Lendl. You've put Borg and Connors. No. <laughs> I don't know. My tennis knowledge is very limited. Correct answer is... Becker and Edberg. Bad luck. Stay where you are. Chase has put. Goes right. Comes onto the table. Yeah. Cash and Lendl played the once in 87. Borg and Connors played 77 and 78. And Becker and Edberg, 88, 89 and 90. Here's the next question. <sighs> Built on a disused railway line, the High Line is an elevated public park in what city? A, London. B, Amsterdam. C, New York. You've put... New York. Don't know. Yes. It's somewhere I would like to visit. I'm pretty confident on that one, Brad. Correct answer is... Well placed, step closer home, Chaser's put. Never heard of that. Also goes with New York. Here's next question. How was Richard Kimball known in the title of a 60s TV series? A, Danger Man. B, The Fugitive. C, The Man from Uncle. You've put... The Fugitive. Yes. I remember it more from the film than the TV series, but I remember that was the fugitive's name, played by Harrison Ford us in the film. Yeah, yeah, in the TV brother, I think it was David Jansen's uh, mm -hmm. correct answer is... <laughs> Stay close home, well done, Chase has put... Don't make programmes like that anymore. <laughs> Goes right. Here's next question. <sighs> in Bridge, a player's hand with no card above a nine is called a what? A, Scarborough, B, Farbra, C, Yarborough. You've put... I've never heard of these. Scarborough. I have absolutely no idea about bridge or car games in general, but I'm just thinking Scarborough is a real place, as is Yarborough, but Scarborough would seem to ring more of a very faint bell. Correct answer is never heard of any of this. Yarborough, stay where you are, Chasers put. Oh, here he comes. He's got that look, they've got that Cheshire cat look about him. <laughs> I played bridge reasonably well when I was younger, and it's... Uh... I'm trying to remember. Remember the nobility, Lord Yarborough, who once made a wager, what are the odds against a, a hand with nothing bigger than nine? And I think they worked out the odds something like 1,827 to one. How do you oh. remember that stuff? Well, A, I'm a mathematician and B, I'm a genius. <laughs> <laughs> and modest with it. Yeah. Chase has one behind us with three from home. Here's your question. <sighs> Which country did England beat 4-3 on penalties? to reach the quarter-finals of the 2018 FIFA World Cup. A, Argentina. B, Brazil. C, Colombia. <laughs> You've put... Colombia. Yeah, I'll well, never forget that. I'm a big Spurs fan. Eric Dyer scored the winning penalty. I'm just waiting a minute. I'm just barking in the mm. glory. Oh, me too, yes. I'm still there. <laughs> That was a great night. Mm. Oh, I'm still there basking <laughs> in that glory of a penalty shootout. Uh, correct answer is... <laughs> Colombia. It weren't England win. It was never England win. All oh, those England win on penalties. England have won <laughs> penalties. Step close to home, Chase has put. <laughs> I can feel the warmth on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the next question. What is five cubed divided by five squared? Wow. A, one, B, five, C, 25. <laughs> You've put five. Yeah, it's five ironic. Five times five times five. Something like that. It's ironic I'm in charge of uh, maths courses because I am not a mathematician, unlike the beast. All right, you put five. The correct answer is, of course, Five. Oh. Step close to home. Chase has put. That's right. Well, what do you think 47 cubed divided by 47 squared is? Er... Uh, 47. Yeah. 
because 47 times 47 times 47 on top, 47 times 47 on the bottom, and, you're and missing, you just cancel, cancel and you're, them out. And you're missing a 47, so it has yeah. to be 47. So anything cubed divided by anything squared is that anything. Yeah, exactly right. I hope my students are watching. Yeah. Here we go. One more, we're home and dry. Here's your question. Roger Casement was one of the leaders of what historical event? A, Peasants' Revolt. B, Easter Rising. C, Whiskey Rebellion. You've put Easter Rising. Uh, Sir Roger Casement, I believe, uh, Irish leader, and the Easter Rising, of course, broke out in Dublin, 1916, I think it was. And I think he met a very unfortunate end as well. I think he was hanged for uh, treason, which is rather awful. So what do you reckon? <laughs> I reckon everything I've said might just be about to hit me back in the face, Brad. To go through with eight grand, correct answer is... <laughs>